Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Winkins. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool paper texture pack effect or paper texture effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now the pack that I downloaded to create this effect is free, but it actually has nothing to do with like a paper texture pack. Um, the pack is from Cinepax. I have an affiliate link if you actually want to buy any of the paid packs. But this pack is not even supposed to like do what I actually created it to do. It's actually, I believe it's like a title card um, effect right here. So go to the import right here, as you can see right here, it says Cinepax title card. So it's not even supposed to be a paper texture effect. So I basically just used a different effect and I kind of created my own um, effect right here. And this is what it looks like um, right here. So it's definitely a really cool effect. And I've always really wanted to know how to create a texture pack effect now be warned this definitely takes a lot of time and I had to re I had to kind of create my own version so it definitely takes a lot of time I'll kind of go over kind of some of the basic ideas um, that I came up with now keep in mind like I've never seen anybody do a video um, like this before I literally just kind of came up with this came up with this idea um, by myself obviously I have a little inspiration but I had no kind of rule book to go off of. this is kind of like my own idea so hopefully you enjoy and hopefully you find something helpful from this. So I'm gonna do my best to kind of, you know, go back and forth between the original and this test right here. Try to remember and make sure I did everything um, right. So let's head over here. So the first thing that I did was I went to this animated background right here, this binder paper loop. So as you can see right here, let's apply the effect right here. So you have this really cool um, binder paper loop um, right here. So what I did next was I actually took, um, I guess we can try this one right here. So I went here. And this one is actually animated. So if you saw in the intro, I have four corners, but two of them are actually moving. That's because I kind of use another creative idea. So as you can see right here, here is an animated title card. So basically I went frame by frame until I basically had it not moving anymore. So let's keep going frame by frame. And then it's kind of going off the screen um, right here. So as you can see right here, um, okay right there is where it's going so it's not the it's going back and forth but it's not sliding off the screen right here um, so let's head over here and I'll take the effect and put it right here again this is just going to be like an example I'm not going to go through every single idea but let's head to the scale I don't know I think I scaled to like 50% or something like that um, actually I'll go to the original like I'll probably keep on doing to um, for reference right here um, so how much did I make the scale? I guess I made like 35%. Okay, so let's head over here. And let's type in the scale on 35% right here. And there we go. Now what I did was I kind of just moved it around um, over here. And I kind of messed with the rotation until I got my desired look. And we can scale it down to like 30%. Of course, you can mess with it until you get the look you want. Um, right there so you can see right here let's wait for that to render a little bit right here um, and as you can see right here this is what it looks like you kind of have this little corner right here the little like tape thing is supposed to be animating right here so kind of create this idea like you have this animated background right here and these are kind of acting like tape like this is kind of being like taped to the background those are pretty cool um, and unique idea so I'm gonna go over here um, right here and I'm just going to apply the next one now obviously I'm not going to recreate everything um, so let's kind of find the effect um, right here so as you can see right here there we go we created that I'll get rid of that I don't think something something went wrong so let's try I can't remember what I did right here so I believe this is like a title card right here as you can see right here, there's the animated one. I believe this one, okay, this one's not the animated one. This is the one that I want right here. So let's apply the effect right here. Okay, there you go. That's what I'm trying to recreate. So you have this title card and then you have the title. So you have two different versions. One, one is animated and one is not. Let's just say 35% right here. And let's kind of move it and scale it over here. And of course, you could basically keep on doing this um, with every single one of these until you have um, four corners right here. But that's basically the idea that I came up with right there. So you have the um, these two pieces of paper. One is animated, one is not. 
and then you have this really cool binder loop in the background so the next thing that I did was I went over here and I went to paper rip loop I applied the effect right here and then what I did was I headed over here to um, mask right here let's head to draw mask I applied a draw mask right here and I basically kind of created my own paper texture rip pack so let's head over here and what I just did was I basically just cut it out into a way that I liked obviously you can mess with this and figure out the look that you want right here um, go to 50 percent and of course you can kind of mess with this and kind of make it your own I'm just kind of doing this quick for the tutorial but this is literally what I just did. I basically just made a cutout of this until I got um, the look that I wanted right here so there we go you basically have a little border right there using literally just a draw mask right there um, so let's head over to fit right here and basically what I just did here was I basically just scaled this right here so I put this on the border right here maybe I increased it to I don't know like 74% or something like that and I increased the border right here and then the only thing I did was I just created an option right here I just created a copy of it I took the border right here um, we'll rotate it to negative 90 degrees right here and basically go like this and we'll basically just kind of increase the scale right here now of course you could obviously kind of have the draw mask um, masked out a little bit again this is a rough edit right here but this is what it looks like right here and then I recopied it four different times I adjusted the scale um, and I adjusted the rotation right there but that's literally how I came up with the idea and then I believe I just put the paper loop underneath it right here and then I just created I just kind of kept on creating the border until I got it to my liking of the look that I um, liked so that's basically how I created those different effects so let's head over here to the original one so right you right here you have a compound clip right here you have a whole bunch of the, the animated title cards as you can see right here this is what it looks like um, right there one two of them are animated and two of them are just standing still you have the main clip right here and then we'll just go ahead and disable the main clip as you can see right here it is just the animated um, notebook background right here now we're going to head over here I go ahead and disable this clip right here as you can see right here it's just the paper loop in the background right here and then the main clip right here and then what I just have right here is I had the paper border right here as you can see right here every single one of these has a draw mask right here this one has a draw mask they all have um draw mask right here and they're all copies of each other right here and then what i did was i took i obviously created them both into a compound clip because they were easier to edit but I, I, I copied on this paper border and this bottom one right here has a color board where the exposure is upped the saturation is 100 percent i changed the color and then I added a focus blur right here to add a really cool glow. Now, obviously, you don't have to add a glow, um, but that is the look that I went for. And that's pretty much how you create this effect um, right here. You kind of have two little paper pieces, two are animated, and then two are, and then you have like a notebook background right here that's animated. And that's pretty much how you create um, this really cool effect. So, anyways, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 130 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.